In this video, we will learn how to identify outliers and missing values in Smart Pillar 3. And we will also see how to fix such issues in Smart Pillar 3. Let me first take you to my dataset. So here is my dataset. So let me first prepare CSV file. So menu and then save as and then click it here. So you see we have one option that is CSV comma delimited. Just click it. And save it in your and then go to smart skills 3 and uh, create a new project so let me name this project as js job satisfaction so you see here so a new project has been created and this is an empty so just click it double click it and uh, uh, go to your data set and just select it and open it. The moment you do it, so you will see basic descriptive statistics of all your indicators will appear here. Now look at first this particular what I would say box here. You see it indicates that there are five missing values right and uh, none has been treated as missing value marker. So where are these missing values? In the third column you see here. So the first missing value is present in OC3 and then is in JS3 and then JS7 and uh, then in JS10. So let me go back to my data set here. So J OC3, OC3 and then JS3. So OC3, yes, here, here is my missing value. So let me code it as 99. And similarly, let me uh, find out the next one. Yeah, here it is. 99. And here it is. 99. Anywhere else? Yes, here it is also present 99. So, what else I can do? I can simply find out also the missing value if it's present. Yeah, so here it is also a missing value. And uh, let me find out again. So I don't see anyone else right so now I have identified one two three four five and six so these are the missing values then let's now find out uh, outliers any abnormal values we go back here and in minimum and maximum values column just look at these values so in minimum you see all values are one so these are fine since my data is on a scale of 1 to 7. However, in the column of the maximum values, I see some abnormal values just like this one. So in JS5 and JS, J5, JS5 and JS7. So nowhere else. I can go back to my data set. So JS5, yeah, here it is, it is present. So I think it's a uh, typo so it was actually 6 and here it was also 5 so what you can also do you can treat them as missing values also if you want now let me save the data and uh, then replace it and come back to smart kill 3 and remove my earlier data set and then double click it so so here we go now you see this time you see missing values are now only zero no missing values there now look at the uh, outliers or any abnormal value 
we see only only 99 nothing else right now how to tell smart plus 3 that 99 is a missing value so here you see missing value marker just click it here put 99 this 99 is being coded as a missing value it's okay the moment you do it so you'll see in the column of the maximum values all values of 99 will disappear right now you see there is no abnormal value no missing value all missing values have been addressed accordingly so here you see so the five missing values are there and uh, at the moment uh, all missing values have been quoted as 99 so these are the cells which clearly show that the these are the basic values right now you can see um, the skewness and kurtosis values also you see here so kurtosis and then skewness values so these all seem to be fine so this is how you can identify missing values and outliers and also how to fix such issues in smart 3 thanks for watching